Hi, it's Emily. We've had a lot of questions about what to practice for an intermediate player, like what to practice daily. So here are some suggestions. The first thing you can do is a little bit of sound exercise. So uh, when you do that, really focus on the airstream being always constant uh, between the notes so that there's no holes and really listen to your sound. It's almost like a little meditation on your sound. Um, we are going to put a sheet in the description below if you want to see what it looks like. So you start on the second octave B and you go down chromatically like this. So you can do it with vibrato or without vibrato, it doesn't really matter. Um, depends what you want to work on. And so you do B, B flat, then you repeat the B flat, you go to A and you do that all the way down to the low C or the low B depending on your flute. And then you go back from that same note and you go up this time. And so on and so on. That's a good thing to do when you start practicing, making sure that you're playing every note on your flute so you just listen to your sound, make sure you're blowing properly and breathing properly. So that's the first thing. Then you can practice scales and arpeggios. For an intermediate player, I would recommend going up to four sharps and four flats in your scales and arpeggios, major and harmonic minor. So there are three types of minor, natural, harmonic and melodic. We're going to work on the harmonic ones. So you take the seventh note of your scale and you bring it up a semitone. And so that's harmonic. So I'll play two scales. I'll play C major. I like to make a stop at the tonic. So let's say C, the tonic of C major is C. So you stop on the first C, you go ta, 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 ta. ta. On the second C, you stop again. Because I've noticed that sometimes it helps students to really remember where they are in their scales if they make a stop on the tonic on the first note of the scale. So I'll play it once. And now that's two octaves. And now I'll do the arpeggio. The arpeggio is the first, third and fifth note of the scale. So here. So that's C major. I'm going to do A minor, which is the relative minor of C. So it's the minor scale that has the same key signature as C major. the arpeggio. When you practice them, you can pick one for a week and you practice it every day and then you go to the next one the next week. So let's say you do C major, A minor, week one, and then after a few days you feel you, you have it very well, you go to G major and E minor, you practice them for a few days and then you can go back to them. And so we're going to leave a link for the music for that as well for you. So you can check it out in the description. And also we're working on a book, which is an intermediate book. With, it will have a lot of exercises like that um, and studies and repertoire and all that stuff. Okay, and then another thing that I really love and I think is very good for intermediate players is in the book Tafanel and Gobert, uh, Daily Exercises. The first one, EJ1, so daily exercise number one. Um, you know, it's like a pentachord. You get five notes that you go up and down four times. And that really builds technique because you repeat a lot. I advise my students to start with a few lines, not doing the whole exercise at once, just a few lines every week and you practice them for a while and then you learn new ones. And there's also a lot of different articulations that you can play with the um, 
with the exercise and that too, you know, start with one or two articulations and then build up slowly. So I'll play the first uh, four lines of the exercise and I'll change articulation every line, but you don't have to do that when you start. You can just change every week, you know, get used to one articulation and change the next week. Just to give you an example. I won't go too fast. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit fast, but like start slowly. You can really start like. And at the beginning, just single tonguing every note might be the best articulation to start with. And when you're more comfortable, you can uh, add other ones in there. And then once you're done, you can do it uh, an octave higher. Um, the second time when you do the repeat, you play an octave higher. So you're also uh, working on your third octave fingerings, which is very good to work on. And then something that is so good to work on is studies. I really advise you to learn a study a week if possible or, or a study every two weeks. Um, good studies for intermediate players would be, uh, I can give you an example of Etude Mignon from uh, Giuseppe Garibaldi. Um, so I'll play the first Etude Mignon to give you an idea, they're super cute and they work on a lot of stuff. Uh, pay attention to the articulations, like the slurs, the staccatos, all those things, um, the dynamics, the musicality of it. And you'll learn also some scales in there without even noticing and little, little chromaticisms and all types of things like that. So I'll do a little part of the first study, um, the first Etude Mignonne by Garibaldi, just a little part of it to give you an idea. So those studies, you can find them on flutetunes.com. We'll leave the link in the description as well. Um, so I hope the video was helpful. If you liked it, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And also go and check out our website, Musigi. And see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>